Welcome to our journey through the alphabet of dinosaurs. From A to Z, we'll explore fascinating facts about these incredible prehistoric creatures. Prepare to journey back in time millions of years to a world ruled by giants and dominated by creatures unlike any we see today. These are not just bones and fossils, but creatures of immense power, grace and mystery. Join me, Teclair Fotso, as we delve into the fascinating world of dinosaurs. The Ankylosaurus, a herbivore that roamed the Earth during the late Cretaceous period, was a sight to behold. Imagine a creature resembling a living tank, its body shielded by thick bony plates fused together to form an almost impenetrable armor. But the Ankylosaurus's defenses didn't end there. It possessed a formidable club-like tail, a powerful weapon capable of delivering a devastating blow to any predator foolish enough to engage it. Few dinosaurs capture the imagination quite like the Brachiosaurus. This majestic creature, one of the tallest dinosaurs to have ever walked the earth, was a true giant of the Jurassic period. Its long neck, reaching high into the canopy, allowed it to graze on vegetation inaccessible to other dinosaurs. Imagine the sight of a herd of Brachiosaurus, their massive bodies moving with surprising grace their long necks swaying like gentle giants browsing a prehistoric forest. Don't let its size fool you, the Compsognathus, a diminutive dinosaur no bigger than a chicken, was a force to be reckoned with. This agile predator darted through the undergrowth of the late Jurassic period, its long legs and sharp claws making it a formidable hunter of small creatures. Like a feathered raptor, it would have used its speed and agility to its advantage, catching insects, small mammals, and even other dinosaurs with lightning-fast reflexes. Chapter 4. Diplodocus, the longest dinosaur. The Diplodocus, a name synonymous with length, holds the record for being one of the longest dinosaurs to have ever existed. This gentle giant of the Jurassic period could grow to an astonishing length its long neck and even longer tail stretching out like a suspension bridge. Imagine the ground trembling beneath the weight of a Diplodocus, its massive body moving with slow, deliberate steps, its whip-like tail keeping predators at bay. Chapter 5, Edmontonia, the Armoured Marvel. The Edmontonia, a dinosaur that roamed North America during the late Cretaceous period, was a walking fortress. Its body, covered in bony plates and spikes, provided it with formidable protection from predators. But the Edmontonia's most distinctive feature was its shoulder spikes, large, forward-pointing projections that could deter even the most determined attacker. Chapter 6, Fabrosaurus, the Early Herbivore. The Fabrosaurus, a small herbivorous dinosaur from the early Jurassic period, represents a pivotal moment in dinosaur evolution. This unassuming creature was one of the earliest Ornithischians, a group of dinosaurs that would go on to include iconic species like Triceratops and Stegosaurus. Imagine the Fabrosaurus, its beak-like mouth nibbling on ferns and cicads, its small size allowing it to thrive in the dense undergrowth of the early Jurassic. Chapter 7, Giganotosaurus, the Colossal Predator. Prepare to meet a predator that dwarfed even the mighty Tyrannosaurus Rex in size, the Giganotosaurus. This colossal carnivore, whose name literally translates to giant southern lizard, roamed South America during the late Cretaceous period. Imagine the sheer terror its prey must have felt as the earth shook with the Giganotosaurus's thunderous footsteps. Its massive jaws and razor-sharp teeth promising a swift and brutal end. Chapter 8. Hadrosaurus, the duck-billed dinosaur. The Hadrosaurus, a large duck-billed dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, is known for its distinctive appearance and complex social behaviour. These herbivores roamed North America in herds, their duck-like bills used to graze on vegetation. What truly sets the Hadrosaurus apart, however, is the diverse range of crests found on their heads. These crests, likely used for display and communication, varied in shape and size, making each species unique. Chapter 9, Iguanodon, the thumb-spiked herbivore. 
The Iguanodon, a large herbivorous dinosaur from the early Cretaceous period, is instantly recognizable by its unique thumb spikes. These spikes, thought to be used for defense against predators, are a testament to the evolutionary arms race between predator and prey. Imagine the Iguanodon, its powerful hind legs propelling it across the landscape, its thumb spikes held at the ready to deter any potential threats. Chapter 10, Jaxartosaurus, the crested hadrosaur. Among the duck-billed dinosaurs, the Jaxartosaurus stands out with its distinctive hollow crest. This hadrosaurid, inhabiting Central Asia during the late Cretaceous period, likely used its crest for a variety of purposes, from visual display to amplifying its calls. Imagine a herd of Jaxartosaurus communicating across vast distances, their calls resonating through their hollow crests, creating a symphony of prehistoric sounds. Chapter 11, Kentrosaurus, the Spiked Defender. Closely related to the Stegosaurus, the Kentrosaurus, a Jurassic period herbivore, sported an arsenal of plates and spikes along its back and tail. These weren't just for show, they served as formidable weapons against predators. Imagine the Kentrosaurus, its tail spikes swinging with deadly force, its plates providing passive protection, a walking testament to nature's creativity and defense. Chapter 12, Lambiosaurus, the musical dinosaur. The Lambiosaurus, a hadrosaurid dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period, possessed a head adorned with a hollow bony crest. This striking feature, unique to each species of Lambiosaurus, is believed to have played a crucial role in communication, perhaps even allowing them to produce sounds. Imagine a chorus of Lambiosaurus, their calls resonating through their hollow crests, creating a symphony of prehistoric sounds that echoed across the late Cretaceous landscape. Chapter 13. Murrhinosaurus, the serpent of the Jurassic Seas. Leaving the land behind, we dive into the Jurassic Seas, home to the Murrhinosaurus. This marine reptile, a type of plesiosaur, possessed a long neck and streamlined body, perfectly adapted for a predatory lifestyle in the ocean depths. Imagine the Murrhinosaurus, its long neck darting out to snatch fish and squid, its powerful flippers propelling it through the water with serpentine grace. Chapter 14, Nodosaurus, the Walking Fortress. The Nodosaurus, an armored dinosaur from the late Cretaceous, took self-defense to a whole new level. Its body wasn't just covered in bony plates, it was a mosaic of bony nodules, creating a nearly impenetrable shield against predators. Imagine the Nodosaurus, a walking fortress lumbering through its environment, predators thinking twice before even attempting to penetrate its formidable defenses. Chapter 15, Ornithomimus, the ostrich dinosaur. Imagine a dinosaur that could outrun a racehorse. That's the Ornithomimus, a swift and agile dinosaur from the late Cretaceous. This long-legged creature with its toothless beak and feathered body bore a striking resemblance to a modern-day ostrich. The Ornithomimus would have been a blur of motion as it sprinted across the landscape, its long legs carrying it swiftly away from danger or towards a tasty meal of insects, small animals and even eggs. Chapter 16, Protoceratops, the early horned face. The Protoceratops, a sheep-sized dinosaur from the late Cretaceous, provides a fascinating glimpse into the early evolution of ceratopsian dinosaurs. This herbivore, though lacking the impressive horns of its later relatives like Triceratops, possessed a distinctive bony frill, a feature that would become a hallmark of ceratopsians. Imagine herds of protoceratops roaming the Gobi Desert, their frills protecting their necks, their sharp beaks snipping at vegetation. A testament to the early success of horned dinosaurs. In chapter 17, Quetzalcoatl, the dragon of the skies. Prepare to be amazed by the Quetzalcoatl, one of the largest flying creatures to have ever graced the Earth's skies. This pterosaur, with a wingspan that rivaled a small airplane, soared through the late Cretaceous skies, its massive size defying gravity. Imagine the shadow of the Quetzalcoatl falling across the land as it glided effortlessly, its long beak searching for prey, a true dragon of the prehistoric skies. 
Chapter 18, Riohosaurus, the dawn of the giants. The Riohosaurus, a massive herbivore from the late Triassic period, takes us back to a time when dinosaurs were just beginning their rise to dominance. This long-necked giant, one of the largest land animals of its time, foreshadowed the colossal sauropods that would evolve later. Imagine the Riohosaurus lumbering across the ancient landscape, its long neck reaching for vegetation, its massive size a testament to the incredible evolutionary journey of the dinosaurs. The Spinosaurus, a truly bizarre and awe-inspiring dinosaur, challenges our perception of what a predator should look like. This massive carnivore, known for its sail-like structure on its back, was adapted to a semi-aquatic lifestyle, a rarity among large theropods. Imagine the Spinosaurus lurking in the shallows of prehistoric rivers, its sail breaking the surface, its crocodile-like snout snapping at fish, a true river monster of the Cretaceous period. No dinosaur captures the imagination quite like the Tyrannosaurus rex. This iconic predator, with its massive skull, bone-crushing jaws and teeth the size of bananas, has earned its place as the king of the dinosaurs. Imagine the ground trembling beneath the weight of a Tyrannosaurus rex, its powerful legs propelling its massive body forward, its keen senses alert for any sign of prey. The Utah Raptor, a large dromaeosaurid theropod from the early Cretaceous period, was a formidable predator, significantly larger than its more famous relative, the Velociraptor. This agile hunter possessed a deadly weapon, a large sickle-shaped claw on each foot, perfect for dispatching prey. Imagine the Utah Raptor, its feathers ruffled as it stalked through the undergrowth, its piercing gaze fixed on its prey, its lethal claws ready to strike. Chapter 22, Velociraptor, the Feathered Assassin. Despite its Hollywood portrayal, the Velociraptor was actually a much smaller dinosaur than often depicted, more akin to a large turkey than a human-sized monster. However, don't let its size fool you. This feathered predator with its intelligence, agility and deadly toe claws was a force to be reckoned with. Imagine the Velociraptor, its feathers bristling as it darted through the undergrowth, its sharp senses and cunning intellect making it a formidable hunter in the late Cretaceous world. Chapter 23 Wananosaurus, the small herbivore While giants ruled the dinosaur world, there were also smaller, less imposing herbivores like the Wananosaurus. This small bipedal dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period likely fed on low-lying vegetation, its small size allowing it to navigate the dense undergrowth with ease. Imagine the Wananosaurus, its small body darting through the ferns, its beak-like mouth nibbling on leaves, a reminder that not all dinosaurs were titans. Chapter 24, Hyphactinus, the terror of the deep. Our journey takes us back to the ocean depths, this time to encounter the Zyphactinus, a fearsome predatory fish from the late Cretaceous period. This massive fish, with its powerful jaws and razor-sharp teeth, was a top predator of the western interior seaway, a shallow sea that once covered much of North America. Imagine the Zyphactinus, its streamlined body cutting through the water with ease, its massive jaws snapping shut on unsuspecting prey, a true terror of the deep. Chapter 25, Young Chuanosaurus, the Jurassic Predator. The Young Chuanosaurus, a large theropod dinosaur from the late Jurassic period, was a formidable predator, similar in size and appearance to its North American cousin, Allosaurus. This powerful carnivore, with its strong legs, sharp teeth and powerful claws, would have been a top predator in its environment. Imagine the young Chuanosaurus stalking through the Jurassic forests of China, its keen senses alert for any sign of prey, its powerful body ready to spring into action. Chapter 26, Zuniceratops, the early Ceratopsian. We end our journey with the Zuniceratops, an early Ceratopsian dinosaur from the late Cretaceous period. This fascinating dinosaur, with its small frill and brow horns, provides a glimpse into the early evolution of Ceratopsians, showcasing the development of their iconic features. Imagine the Zuniceratops, its small horns and frill protecting it from predators, its beak-like mouth grazing on vegetation, a testament to the early success of these horned dinosaurs. 
Thanks for joining us on this alphabetical adventure through the world of dinosaurs. We hope you enjoyed learning about these amazing creatures from the past. From the armoured Ankylosaurus to the tiny Compsognathus, the world of dinosaurs is full of wonder and excitement. These magnificent creatures, though long extinct, continue to captivate our imaginations and inspire us to learn more about our planet's incredible history. Who knows what other secrets are waiting to be unearthed from the fossil record? Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more fascinating facts.